What's going on, Internet? I'm your everyday winner, and welcome to episode 3 of my Pokemon Leaf Green Custom Nuzlocke. Here we are back again in Viridian Forest. So, we're going to continue on our adventure. And, um, something I should mention here at the beginning of the episode, I put in a game shark code to hopefully unlock the Poke like the national decks and have a completed national decks. So, I don't know if that's gonna work, it's been kinda like weird, because game shark codes are usually weird when like, you put them in at first. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but um, the reason why I did that is because K-Mac tipped me off, cause he was watching um, episode 2 of this series, and he told me that Heisenberg will not evolve if I do not have my national decks unlocked. He said that he wanted to do something like this before, just for fun, uh, hack in a Pokemon from like second gen and try to evolve it. Well, not try to evolve it, just play through the game with it, but he said that it doesn't work. So he told me that I would need the National Dex to do that, so I put in the Game Shark code to unlock the National Dex and the Pokedex. So just give, gives me like random numbers, like I saw 62 and I own 56. It, it's just weird. Like, I just have random Pokemon. <laughs> it says that like I own Lapras and Mewtwo and Starmie and all these weird things, but it only stays in this Pokedex. I saw a Pinsir, I guess, and I own a Moltres and a Mewtwo and a Mew. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if this, if this is gonna work or not. Um, we're not gonna be concerned about that until maybe in episode two. For now, it still says um, question marks for the uh, number that Cyndaquil is. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but. We should have Richard in the front anyways, because he's one of these levels for this uh, upcoming gym. So we're going to fight Mr. Uh, Stare at Trees over here. Did you know that Pokemon Evolve? No way! No way! No way! Oh my god. Charlie, you you just have such an insight to Pokemon. You are the Pokemon Master. I shouldn't even be messing with you right now, because you were just so good. And I'm just going to spam tackle this Metapod. And uh, this episode might not be able to be as long because I'm like, I'm kind of dizzy right now because I've had like a lot of just like health problems lately. I've been out of school for like an entire week. I haven't even been able to record. Today I'm feeling relatively okay, so that's why I'm recording this for you guys. But I just had like problems like my middle ear and just like me being extremely dizzy all the time and I'm like on my uh, antibiotics and all this crazy stuff that I don't want to even go into. Because if I went into, like, telling you guys about all the issues... Oh my goodness. We're gonna need to leech seed this boy. Yep. Not a tackle. Oh, it's perfect timing. Oh, yeah, you know, learn Vine Whip. But yeah. I've had a ton of medical problems, so I haven't, like, been able to really record or anything. Um, I can't really help it. Um, that's why I'm recording this right now. And I wanted to speed up my videos, and I've been like trying to think of an another series to start up, and I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I there's some things that I would really like to do, and there's some things that I really wouldn't like to do. Wait, that was a repel. Up. Oh, I shouldn't have faced him, cause Vine Whip isn't gonna do anything to these fools. Bugcatcher Sammy sent out Weedle. All right. Uh, well, I can only switch into one Pokemon. So let's go Heisenberg and oh, that, I thought that was my phone. That was my laptop. Finished bringing a CD. Uh, <laughs> iTunes confuses me when it does stuff like that. Do will I still learn Ember? I'm pretty sure I'll still learn Ember. So yeah, we're not gonna need Heisenberg for the first gym at all. Oh, you better not. You better not. Oh my goodness. <sighs> you goddamn Weedles. You're not dying on me, Heisenberg. You are not dying on me. That's why I have 10 antidotes. You're gonna use Poison Sting again. Oh, String Shot, thank you. If you got a crit on Poison Sting right now, I would just cry. I would just cry if I lost Heisenberg before he could even try to evolve him. Wait, what'd I just do? What'd I just do? Oh, alright. I accidentally press Alt, and that pauses the emulation. There we go. Alright. Feeling good now, Heisenberg. You're feeling good. Go ahead, String Shot me all you want. I'll just be covered in your stringiness. I don't even care. I really don't even care. So, Pidgey needs to get some levels too. Um, No way. No way. Oh my goodness. How am I out of tackles that quick? I'm out of tackles on both Bulbasaur and Heisenberg. Richard, I should say. Don't poison me, fool. 
Alright, <laughs> well, it looks like I'm gonna have to vine whip him to death, when I'm pretty sure it's four times ineffective. Not very effective. Don't poison me, fool. There you go. Oh, this is this is gonna be bad. Yeah, that, that doesn't do anything. I'm just speeding up through this so I don't have to put you guys through the horror. Ember? No! When do you learn Ember? Alright, well, we are about to get out of Viridian Forest, so we could finally go heal up in Pewter. As long as... I'm pretty sure there's a trainer right up here, as long as we avoid him or her. We'll be good to go. Is there a trainer? Is there a trainer? No, there's no trainer. But I can catch a new Pokemon here, which I will go back to in a second, because I want to heal up first. Alright, so let's uh go through here and speed heal. Alright, beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. Hmm, who do I want to lead off with here? Hmm, I should put Joey and Timothy away. Because they're not on the team right now. They're just kind of uh, backups. I'll lead off with Bulbasaur. Alright, let's see what our Pokemon on this route is going to be. And we have a... Caterpie. Again. Oh yeah, Dupes Claws. Forgot about Dupes Claws. I forgot that I'm using that. So no. No Caterpie for us. Alright. What else do we got? A Rattata. Dupes Claws again. I'm pretty... <laughs> I'm almost positive that I'm using dupes claws. I haven't looked at these rules in a while, and I haven't played this in like a week, so... Let's see. What do we got now? We have Pidgey! Dupes claws again! Can we catch anything else besides Pidgey, Rattata, and Caterpie in here? Maybe there's Weedles? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Pidgey... Rattata... Rattata... <laughs> Pidgey... I think this just might be dupes claws craziness here. It, it's all Dupes Claws. All of it. I cannot catch anything else. How about I run into a level 5 Pidgey again, and then that could be like my backup. Oh. What's going on here? This isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. That the, This is some with the game chart code. I never used a repel. I never ever used a repel. This is not good. Will this ever go away? <laughs> oh, don't cheat, guys. This is what happens to your game. It just, like, totally screws itself over. Like. Oh my god, there we go. Alright, so I, I, my national dex is working now. So. Alright, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's working now, but. This is weird. Okay, it stopped. Am I good? I think I might be good. I'm just not going to speed up like that again. Will it, will it do that every time I have a wild encounter? It better not. Well, no, now that I have all these unlocked, I'm going to save this. Hopefully you guys don't get mad at me for cheating or anything. Because this playthrough isn't really about catching all the Pokemon or anything. Obviously, it's a Nuzlocke. It's just about the uh, experience. Just kind of like the Minecraft experience, which is um, a great series if you guys haven't checked it out yet. Advertising myself. Alright, Joey, you and Timothy are going to go for a little rest. Eric needs to get trained a bit, but he's not going to be any use in this first gym either. So let's head on over there. I'm not feeling confident enough to face Brock yet. That's going to be some off-screen training. Um, I don't even know if I'm com confident enough to face the first trainer, but I'm going to. I'm gonna face the first trainer, the guy who's like, Wow, you think you're tough enough to face Brock? How about you mess with me first? Uh, uh, that's what I imagine him sounding like. What, what's his name? That's... Stop right there, kid! You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock! <laughs> that's what I imagine this uh, little man sounding like. Camper Liam, my name's Liam, and I like to stop people from facing Brock. Alright. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Yep. Just one hit KO. That Onyx. He, Brock has level 14 Onyx, and Onyx is pretty fast, so... I'm not feeling super confident about facing him yet. Sandshrew. Alright. This is going to be a two hit KO. Because he's only ground, not ground and rock. 
to a KO? Yeah, to a KO. Don't mess with me, boy. Defense curl. Wow. Well, we better not mess with the sand rule. He's curling. He's curling defensively. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. Level 12. Defeated Camperlium. Darn. Light years isn't on my time. I, I should have read that. I'm just getting like kind of dizzy right now. All right, so let's go train a little bit. How far are we into this video? Let me check. A little bit over 10 minutes. We'll train for just a little bit. Then I will be uh, heading out. In the next episode, we can face Brock. So let's actually let's actually just speed train here. Uh, let, let's get an Ivy Sword. We could do this. This is it's no problem. I can just keep doing this. This is literally really easy. Uh, this is this is like my number one thing about emulators that I love. This is what I did with Pokemon Gold, and it was so easy to train for the final battle. All right, now we just um keep doing this. So let me talk to you guys. So as I was saying, um, I want to start up another series, but I'm not really sure what it should be. Um, due to my video statistics, I know that most people don't watch more than five minutes in each of my videos. So if you are still watching this right now then you obviously really like my videos and I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching this far into my video. Up, oh, here goes with their Pell Worn Off thing again. Alright, well, we're good. But, um, if you have any suggestions on what I should do, do you guys want me to bring back Portal 2? Do you guys want me to start up a new series? Um, I don't... I don't know if it's going to be Minecraft. Definitely not Pokemon. I only like to keep one Pokemon series at a time. Uh, XD Gale of Darkness did not work out for me because of the emulator and fraps not really working well together. So, I wasn't going to... I tried fiddling around with that I, for a while, actually. And I didn't know what to do to fix it because it played just fine when I wasn't recording. And I did a couple fraps tests. And every time I started recording with fraps, it would frame skip. It Because, um... It would usually play at 60 frames, but when it goes down to 59, it frame skips and like sound glitches a lot and stuff. And I don't know why, even though it's only one frame less because it's recording. Like this goes down to 59, like a lot. It's 59 right now, 60, 61, it, it fluctuates. And if I lock the frame rate then, it just doesn't seem to work. So I don't really know what happened with that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I, I could start Portal 2. Oh! Jeez, I didn't realize we were facing Weedles, and I killed them. Oh well, I'm not catching Weedles. <laughs> I forget that I'm in a Nuzlocke half the time. It's 16 to evolve, I'm pretty sure, for Bulbasaur. And I could just off-screen train uh, Pidgey, get him up to like maybe level 12 or so. Because I don't want anybody dying, so I'm just going to keep playing it safe. But uh, yeah, I could start back up Portal 2. I, I, I would start back up Portal 2, actually. That I might just do that. Um... If I can't really come up with anything and I'm feeling it, I, I will start back up Portal 2. Portal 2 is a fun game, and uh, I just played it a lot around the time that I was recording, so I want to take a break from it, but I can start that back up again. Um, it might be more difficult for me since I haven't played it for a couple months, and I probably forget some of the puzzles, but uh, it's still fun all in all. Hopefully my progress is saved on Steam on my... Ooh. What? Oh, I missed. I thought I was out of PowerPoints there for a second. Hopefully the progress is saved on like a cloud or something, because I had that on my laptop, and I returned my laptop and got a different one. <laughs> An Alienware, and it was the biggest piece of crap I've ever owned. It had, it had five times, no, four times, four times the need to get repaired, and it was all hardware issues. Oh, here you go with this again. If I do this, this, this. But yeah, I had to get a lot of... Uh, hardware repairs so I just I'm like you know what I'm returning it so I got some money back with that I'm pretty sure I explained this before in Minecraft experience but I'm explaining to you guys again here I got some money back for it uh, upgraded my PC got some got a new graphics card poison powder I will get rid of growl for that sleep powder I will get rid of poison powder for that and it's gonna ask me to learn uh, Sunspore. Oh no, that's next level. Cause I like I, sleep powder is gonna be the one that I keep. I don't know actually. It's it's a really tough decision. Cause poison powder that I I could do without poison powder. Toxic like if there's like a toxic powder kind of move or whatever, that would be good. 
Uh, that, that would make it a hard decision then, but the hard decision is between Sleep Powder and Stun Spore. Because Bulbasaur isn't necessarily super fast or anything, but um, Sleep Powder can really help. But Sleep Powder's chance, uh, Stun Spore is totally locked in. So, I don't know. It's a hard decision. So, Bulbasaur only has one more level to go to get to 16. Um, if this isn't like... if if you guys like hate watching this right now then I'm, I'm sorry but it just needs to be done and I didn't want to like make a really short video so we're gonna get him up to 16 so I feel very confident facing Brock and then we're going to face Brock next episode and I just wanna oh, what this is, this is stupid I'm gonna turn off those codes after I'm done with this recording cuz then it will still have my data saved for completing the national decks and um what's it called and I won't get those stupid glitches anymore. So I'm halfway to 16. This is beautiful. I would only probably still be like 12 right now, 12 or 13 or whatever, if I was playing this in like an actual Game Boy or playing this without speeding it up. So thank God for Visual Boy Advance. All right, so we are just about there. I'm just going as fast as I can here, just so I can finish this up for you guys and prove to you guys that I'm not a cheater or anything. Oh, come on. Come on, boy. Rich. I don't even care. Alright. No, I do care. Just go in the Pokedex. Go back out. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, one more. One more Pokemon. Alright, 16. Richard is evolving. Alright, guys. So, that is going to be the end of this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed and uh, if you did, please leave a like, please leave a comment about the video or about me starting a new series, whatever you want to comment about. I love comments. Read them all the time. So, there it is. A beautiful Ivasaur. He's going to destroy Brock. And I'm probably going to do some more off-screen training just to get it done with. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, until next time, guys. Peace out.